you know, this, this, this happened close to two years ago. It went through an appeals process. The appeal was totally dismissed. We have helped our family in Etobicoke Centre. We've helped for the last 30 years candidates. Can you explain what you were doing when you followed Pina Martino home and waited outside of her home? Was this an attempt to intimidate her? No, you, you know, that never happened. Again, my friends, this is the Liberals, two weeks before the election, trying to change the channel. This is information that, uh, that I think is very concerning. I think that um, people need to, uh, need to know um, about information like this if there have been breaches in terms of uh, nominations. And you'll have to ask Mr. Ford about uh, any of the details pertaining to, uh, to the issue. I think it is only, you know, it's only right, it's our responsibility. We're two weeks into an election campaign. People need to know about us. They need to know uh, how we behave. They need to know what our, uh, what our records are. It'll be up to Mr. Ford to, first of all, you know, try to come clean or, or to, to have that discussion with Ontarians about what his role was. I think the, the question on the, the minds of voters will be, is that the kind of character uh, that we want in the Premier's chair? Is that the kind of, um, uh, that the kind of um, uh, you know, value system that we want uh, uh, the person that's the Premier of our province to hold?